Okay, so you're wondering about the river parks here in New Braunfels. Today we're going to talk about just that, so stay tuned. Okay, so you're curious about some of the river parks that we have in New Braunfels. Today we're going to visit Hinman Island Park and Prince Psalms Park. Let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in Hinman Island Park. It is a 10 acre park here in the city of New Braunfels, Texas. It runs along the Comal River. Henman Island Drive up there. Across the street is the uh, Land of Park Golf Course. So during the summer, especially on the weekends, this would be filled with tubers. Um, people will go up there, upriver a bit. There's some tubing outfitters where people will go in. Also, there's some uh, scuba diving outfitters that'll come down here and do some of their training here to get people scuba certified. So this is pretty shallow. It's only maybe about five feet or so, if that. Um, so they'll do some of their stuff there. And then over here in this area by the steps, it gets closer to like 17, 18 feet deep. But we'll caution you, watch out right here on the steps. It gets slippery. Watch out for the little ones because uh, you don't want them going over there and falling down, slipping into the water. As you can see, there's lots of picnic tables and grills. You can't bring your your own grill, but you are feel you can feel free to use some of these. Water is very clear right now. Uh, tubing has been, tubing season's kind of over. It usually goes from about Memorial Day to Labor Day. So uh, nobody's out and about right now. But one of the nice things about the Kamau River is year round it is 72 degrees. So it doesn't matter what time of year, you know, if it's in the summer, great place to come and cool down uh, because it's over 100 degrees uh, during the winter. It's great if people want to go scuba diving or even come out and swim for exercise. Uh, we have people that do that because it's 72 degrees year round because it's spring fed. Down here we've got some guys that are fishing. I think there's some bass in here. Uh, been scuba or snorkeling down here before and uh, you know seen some fish, perch, bass, and even some crawfish. Speaking of, there's a little crawfish claw right there. And unlikely you can see it, but there's a bass in there right there too. Over there's a bit of a rocky bottom, but over here is a lot of grass. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell up top so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. And if you're thinking about moving to Braunfels, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you need to do. I've got people contacting me all the time about moving to New Braunfels, coming from Michigan, California, Vegas, Florida, all over the place. So if you're thinking about it, make sure you reach out. We'll be able to help. All right, this is a little bit further upriver. Talked to a couple of the guys fishing. They've caught like two or three, you know, little bitty bass. Nothing you can take home and fry up. Uh, so across the river, you've got uh, condos and houses you can rent out. If you're coming down here to visit. Also, Texas Tubes is right here. Uh, honestly, anytime that we go tubing the Kamal, this is where we come. It's the Texas Tubes. Because they have plenty of parking across the street or right here across the river uh, they have plenty of parking over there um, people here all the time so we don't really worry about anybody trying to break into our car or truck or anything
Got more condos over here. Not many people live in them, but they'll rent them out year round. Uh, during the summer, they stay packed. So if you're looking for like maybe an investment property, this is not bad. Um, not a bad place to come and look. Uh, so Land of Falls is another uh, river outfitter. They're further up. They tout the longest, the longest float on the Kamau. Um, and they're up and around the bend over near the Worst Fest grounds. So if you get in over here at Texas Tubes, depending on how many people are here, um, you know, how choked up it gets over at the uh, tube chute, which we'll see, it's about a two to two and a half hour float. So not too long, not too short. You hear the birds chirping. Got this moss coming off of these trees. It's really, really nice and peaceful down here. Especially in the mornings. That's right now it's about 9 30 in the morning. Just some folks out here fishing. Some folks running earlier, walking their dogs. So here's some of the picnic tables. The little barbecue pits they got water fountains over here is a uh, little playground and also the restrooms are right there oh you don't want to step in that You got some trails that run along the, uh, the outer edge of it. Parking along here. And then down there and around the curve, there's more parking as well. This is back on that bridge that we started. So you can go this way and go over to Prince Psalms Park. The gates to the river access here are up there. You can come down this ramp, you can go down those stairs. We jokingly call that the SeaWorld Gate. It's a big entrance they put in a few years ago. Kind of looks like the entrance to SeaWorld, but on a much smaller scale. All right, we're gonna go to the river part of Prince Psalms Park. Uh, we'll see the the ground level place or area in a little bit. It's got some tennis courts, some open uh, areas for like disc golf. All right, so this is the tube shoot. If you Google any photos about New Braunfels, you're gonna always gonna you know pull up some images of the tube shoot that's over here. So there's the Kamau. Runs through this tube chute that's right over there. We'll see in a second. It dumps out right there. And so ideally, when you come in, and you're coming down the chute, you wanna go that way. You don't wanna get sucked around to go this way. You wanna keep going that way and get kicked out over there. Because if you come in over here, you're gonna have to struggle a little bit on your tube and paddle your way over there once you get back into the current. 
uh, fire departments, police departments from all over the state and some from out of country even, or I'm sorry, out of, out of state, come in and they do swift water rescue training right here. So they'll start up over here, you know, again, come down the tube chute. It looks like there's probably a fire department over here. Uh, I don't know from where. That's gonna be conducting some training today. When I was with the police department, um, we did training down here with our with our vests that they, they gave us uh, for any kind of uh, flooding events. And then we also have some some ropes that we would throw for folks that are in, uh, in trouble. During the summer, they'll have lifeguards out here for any folks that are struggling. So we'll get a closer look of the, of the uh, tube chute. All right, so here's the tube chute. Water is moving pretty fast, but I'll tell you what, it's fun. We've gone in, you know, with tubes, without tubes, without a vest, running down it. All over here is pretty shallow, so a lot of people come and stand and hang out right here. This is the float in right here, so you can come over here, pay admission. They've got a uh, restaurant bar, come and hang out under their pergolas in the water. So yeah, funnels you through right there. And then out there. Good times. So you got these buoys up over here. Please, whatever you do, don't ever try to go over those buoys. Because if you do, it's gonna spit you out right here. And it will not be kind. Some people like to go through the tube chute a few times, so go through it. Get up any number of these steps. Go back up those. Go back around. Hop in, do it all again. Better shot at the float in. Yeah, ideally you want to come in right here and go back out that way. If you don't, it's still a good time. <laughs> Pay admission. I think it was a small like access fee. The gates over there, they give you a wristband. You come hang out over here as well. And one more little shoot, little tiny one right here. All this and close to downtown, that's the East San Antonio Bridge. You go a block or two that way and you're in downtown New Braunfels.
on the last side of the tube chute there. And then we'll go up and see what else Prince Thomas Park has to offer. Okay, so here's the rest of Prince Psalms Park. During the summer, there is a fee to park here. But, lots of room to run around. Tennis courts. There used to be parking on the grass years and years and years ago, but they put an end to that. And now, obviously, the grass looks a lot better. But it's just a circle come in and leave right over there off of liberty street or lincoln one of the two tubing outfitters will drop off over here float down get you at the last tubers exit last tubers exit's about nine blocks that way so you can even walk it if you wanted And then just give you a reference, the river's right back down there in the tube chute. Here's the SeaWorld gate. So yeah, during the summer, if you're just coming down here to tube on your own, I guess it's $2. This is fairly new. Here's just some of the rules. No glass, no styrofoam ever. And then you have to have reusable containers, no disposable containers. And they give out life jackets now to use and borrow. So this is that ramp that I pointed out earlier in the video that'll take you to that bridge back to Hinman Island Park. All right, so that was Hinman Island Park and Prince Psalms Park. And if you're thinking about moving to New Braunfels, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you need to do, get a hold of me. Also, hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell up top so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. Until next time, y'all take care y'all, bye-bye. <laughs>